Hi everyone, welcome to the next session of the videos how to draw what you see. And in this video, we're gonna just uh, start practicing the one vanishing point perspective, the most essential way uh, whenever we'll take example as a corridor, for example, and not very complicated, but just essential so you know really how to look for the um, vanishing point, how to establish the vanishing point, and then how to create the perspective in which after you're going to elaborate much more details, whatever you see in the corridor. So let's say we're going to, the first going to be very simple corridor, um, and uh, that's how it works. So first thing, if you look at the, at the space, for example, let's, let's assume that there is our corridor somewhere. You know, that's our corridor, you know, here. And you are at somewhere standing here, okay? You're somewhere here, or sitting, let's say, okay? And you want to draw. So, um, the most essential is, it doesn't matter how many details you have here in the end of the corridor, in this space, the first thing you have to establish in order to create your one vanishing point perspective is, general, like synthesize, uh, you know, you have synthesize, uh, you know, the space, the end of the corridor, what kind of form it has it. So it could have rectangular form, like a carré, sorry, a square a form, it could have vertical, like kind of rectangular form, it could, could have also, you know, horizontal, uh, large kind of form, the end of the corridor, where it could be many doors, whatever is there. And, you know, the essential is to establish first the form. So either it's horizontal, a vertical, or rather squarey, all the side the same. How to find this? Well, just measure first, you know, horizontal, horizontal uh, space here of this corridor. When you have this space done, measured, okay, the hands always straight, remember. So after take this measurement here and put it you know, vertically and see how many times it enters. In this case, it's going to be like one time and maybe one fourth, okay, of this space. So you know that it's not uh, any more uh, squarey, but rather rectangular form. So you just establish this by measuring, of course, and comparing the, the uh, uh, width with the height, okay? And then how we're going to find um, your form. So let's say, uh, and this is very important because the first things you have to establish this. Once you have done here, so let's draw the corridor here, for example. Okay, I am. That's the corridor, and this is the the the, ta the 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 thing I take first in consideration. The end of the corridor. This is like floor plan, and I'm going to be, for example, somewhere here sitting. Okay, for example, and looking, of course, straight to this corridor. So. In such case, we can start drawing. Let's say we're going to take this as our example. Um, so I'm going to draw here approximately, you know, the form, rectangular form, okay, which I see, okay. I draw it, so this form, and just like this, simple. And, of course, I found the form approximately. What I have to find now is horizontal line. Horizontal line is, if this is, for example, the, the if, if you stay here, Okay, and looking there, and you in the corridor, okay, or corridor. So you have to find the horizon on this, in this space, okay, in this space. If you're sitting, of course, and you're going to draw here, you know, whatever, of course you, the horizontal line is going to be lower then. So it all depends where you, you, if you're drawing standing or you're drawing sitting or laying down. So um, let's say you're sitting and you know you just look straight to the space where you are and look where is where approximately you look in this space. You look approximately if you sit, you're gonna probably have some somewhere here, you know, the level of the horizontal line. So you find the horizontal line, that's fine. Now you have to look where you're sitting in this space. Are you a side of the corridor looking straight at it, or are you in the middle? or on you on the other side. So this is important to find where you are. Well, let's say you're gonna be a little bit on the left. So if you look straight there, you see, somewhere there is the point when you're looking at straight directly. So in our drawing gonna be somewhere here, okay? Like this. So if you find this point like that, 
you know that this is your vanishing point. So now, in order to build the perspective, you just go through those corners from this point, make lines, okay? Go, like this, like this, sorry, and like this, okay? Much more perfectly, oh yeah, like this. And you have, you ha you're gonna have, actually, the line of the, the corridor of one side of the corridor, and here you have the other side of the corridor. So now we can start drawing because we have already the space, anything we need. So either you can start with this, what is happening here. Let's say, for example, we might have a kind of doors. You look the spaces. If these spaces are the same, then on the top, or maybe the top is a little bit higher. So let's say it's higher. You know, you have to verify those measurements. So you're going to have here doors, whatever, you know, it might be doors. Let's say it's, the, it's some kind of doors we have here. So we can draw the doors and, the, you know, here is the lock and everything. So we can have some kind of grid on the doors, whatever it is. So you have the doors, everything. So now, uh, let's say this space is done. If there is more details, of course, you can after go with the details if you want, you know, some columns or whatever. After you just, you know, if, if there is any arch, whatever is there, you know, you just go and, 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 and fill up, you know, much more exactly what is there. But that's the secondary part, you know. And um, now we take, uh, uh, take in care, uh, care about this side, because this side we see much more. This is going to be really squeezy, because I am closer to this vanishing point and this side this side of the corridor, so I'm going to see less this details, but I'm going to see more on this side the details. So how I do now? Let's say that I have approximately this space of the wall, and after I have the same size approximately, you know, um, you have to verify how the, the details you have in this corridor repeat themselves. If they're irregular, you always have to ch choose one part somehow generalize, even if there is inside many things, like you, even here, you see, we first we choose the back, like a very kind of rectangular form, and after we were looking for all what is inside. But the same you can do with the side. So if there are many details, first you establish that, uh, you know, you take part of it. So for example, in my case, I'm going to take the wall, and I'm going to go take the the doors of the um, elevator. And if I, uh, let's say they're the same, the elevator is as big as the side of the wall. So I will, in order to, you know, um, uh, do it, uh, you know, like kind of divide the space really so I can find all the proportions of and the size of the doors and everything in, in, in this perspective, according to this perspective. So let's say I I, I first measure how, how uh, if I, look straight, this space of the wall, which is here, how it, I measure this, of course, and I see how many times it enters to this space. You see, it looks like it's, uh, let's say, three and a half, but I, I, let's, let's see that, let's say that this is going to be three times, not the, uh, in uh, three and a half. Let's say, for example, I, I make mistake here. So I take this and I simply make bigger. So it's somewhere here. So I have one part, okay, of the wall here, this part here, okay. And now I know that the other side is the same. You see, because they are two the same spaces. This is wall and this is elevator entrance, okay, here. And the doors are as big as this wall. So in such case, I'm going to go, in order to find the proportions in this perspective, transversal line here, from one corner to the other, the same here, and I found the point. So now, from my vanishing point, I take, I cross, I go through this point here. And I'm going to, you see, it's crossing here, this line, the vertical line, which I just established. So now, from this point, from this corner to this point, I make transversal line, and I have exactly now, you see where the point is, I have exactly the same space like this one, but larger and in this perspective, okay? So after, if the situation repeats, let's say the, the next wall is like both of them together. So in such case, you might either make the point here, you see because you have the, the middle here, 
from the vanishing point, and you, if there's this, this wall is as both of them together, so then you go like this, you know, and somewhere there you know that the wall is big. But if this is the, the other wall, because that is going to be the elevator, the other wall is the same as the elevator, so let's say you have another wall which is the same, in such case you just go here, Okay, and you find another point, so if you add the vertical, now this part is the same like the first one, okay, and it's the same as this one, but it's bigger and in proportions according to the perspective. So now if you want to transfer the same three, you know, parts of the corridor to the other side in order to have much more completed uh, view, so just horizontal, because as you know, in this perspective, when measuring point, you have only horizontal as verticals, so you know, you just go through uh, this like horizontally, and you find right away, you know, the corresponding parts on the other side. Okay, on the other side. So as you see here, they are much more smaller than here because the angle is much more pronounced. So a natural is going to be smaller. So I know that I have the elevator here. So look. It's normally the doors of the elevator are as high as normal doors. There's are more. So if I know this, I just go straight here and I find the point, okay? And now, to this point here, from the vanishing point, I just do line. And I have the top of my, you know, elevator, okay? And this is the wall. And the elevator is a little bit inside, of course, here, okay? And then you have the vision because the doors open like this. Okay, and the same you can do here. So from this vanishing point now, you know, if you go here, okay, if, if from this vanishing point you go to this point here, so you're going to find also on the other side, the other, let's say if there is also elevator on the other side here, okay, the same symmetric, uh, let's say, parts, so you just go, you know, and you have another elevator there. So, um, of course, you after can go with the ceiling as well. If you want, if you know that, for example, uh, if you want to find, you know, the middle, you just divide this in half, you know, if you want, and or you can find the middle like this to this point. If you go uh, from the vanishing point, you, try, you go through this point, you have approximately middle either uh, even uh, parts everywhere. And let's say from here you have one lamp like this, and here, for example, you might have much more neon lamp. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, uh, lamps are there. You just go and you do it. Maybe there is some even going uh, horizontally. If they're going horizontally, so you have to you see the side align here, and other side you align here, and then you can do the lamp, of course, horizontally, you know, in this um, um, perspective. If there are some details on the walls, like, for example, uh, let's say, t uh, paintings or something, so you just go, you know, here and establish, you know, appropriate, you know, angle of the lines, whatever is there. And if there is some kind of furniture, etage or something, from one side to the other, for example, you just go with me, you put it there, okay, horizontally there. And of course, if there is some kind of, you know, a bucket, whatever, and maybe this is kind of, you know, uh, furniture there. So maybe this is this part is like this, and this you have kind of you know, uh, 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 shelves or something there inside. And maybe this is like this, you know, maybe some small parts, whatever. Anyway, any, anything, the details you draw after you occupy with it, whatever is there. Um, but the important thing, once you find the perspective, right, the sides and everything, then you play with it as, as, as you wish. So, for example, if you want to, for example, you have, um, you know, the, the floor, so if uh, you count the lamps, how many, if there's wooden floor, so you just count how many of them you have. Uh, everything you have, those distances, has to be, distances have to be measured the same, perfectly the same as you established, uh, you know, how many lamps are there. So we divide the space of as, as many, you know, a wooden lamp you have, uh, lots, lots you have. So after from this vanishing point, to each the point you divide it evenly here, you just go and make you know, line, okay? So in such case, you're gonna have the wooden floor perfectly well in perspective of one vanishing point, you know? You just have to go through them really perfectly well, you know? 
all of them like this, like this. And if you want, if for example uh, there is no wooden, but the kind of you know uh, marble kind of you know uh, uh, floor which has this kind of you know division, squarey, you know like this. So if you want to find really uh, the proportion of this corridor, how the big the square is going to be from here to there to the end, or from the end to the front. You just go either transversal here or transversal there. Here might be easier. So you just go here. And now look, whenever you go, the first is here, the second is here, the third is here. And if they are perfectly, of course, uh, the spaces align and everything. So all the cro each crossing, if you after make horizontal lines, you're going to build actually, you know, perfect proportions of the uh, uh, marble, you know, floor you know, in perfect proportions by going through those points where, where you're going to cross the horizontal lines. If there is plaques which, for example, they are not like this, done like, you know, the uh, perfectly like this, but you have them approximately, you know, like this, one is like this, one is like this, one is like this, you know, whatever. Nothing simple. You just simply go, you see, as you have one here, another you have here, so this, you just start in the middle of those parts. This and in the middle of those parts here. So it's just simply the division, very simple division of this. So now you see, when you get to this kind of, you know, um, pre-sketch, you remember that the red is always very light pencil, this planification. So once you have this, you can try to do a little bit better, you know, much more exact. So you just now take in consideration the lines which are really, um, you know, uh, uh, important to you. So that's a little bit inside, there are doors, you know, and you, you show this side of the doors, you show this side of the doors, there is there, a little bit more details of the doors, you know, how they are, you know, here and there, and maybe there is something here, maybe there is some kind of divisions here, you know, whatever the, the details you have in the doors, you can put it there. And of course, what is important here, how it goes, you can go with the lamp, for example, you know, it's like this, the other lamp is like this, so just now, you know, uh, you don't even make the divisions unless you have some kind of divisions in the ceiling that you have some kind of cassettons, you know, uh, done uh, here and there, you know, uh, voila, and in here and there, you know, where you have small spots, you know, lamps, uh, uh, you know, somehow put it either in two or three uh, parts, you know, three uh, lines, whatever. So you just go and after you just really enjoy like kind of making very, uh, uh, you know, clear lines of w how the ceiling is composed and everything and all the details you play after with everything, with the ceiling, you know, how it goes and with the sides of the corridor, of course, the essential lines you hear, you have inside, you have outside, you know, and you have the elevator from this side here, for example, here. You know, and the same is here, the elevator is here, so you just go with the little bit darker lines and make it a little bit kind of darker, you know, here and ever, you know, you just now you look that the one is inside, one is outside, and if you have some kind of furniture, whatever it is, here, if you have some kind of vase with flowers, whatever, there's paintings, you know, the details you already actually play after with it, you know, whatever is here, you just try to fix it. There is another, maybe this kind of is rounded something, you know, my mirror or something. And you have this furniture maybe go here, you know, and you have some more details here, whatever it is. You just add after. If there are some columns, you play with the columns. You have the circles here and there. You play with the columns, some kind of things here and there. If there are some arches, of course, you go much more exactly about the details and everything what is there. So, so just the most important how to build this perspective is, you know, um, the details you can work on it, of course, um, uh, you look at the details and work on them accordingly, you know, to your time and to if there are, there are any details or just as a simple, simple, you know, um, uh, ceiling, nothing really fancy there. So it's up to you whatever you see in the space. There might be some kind of lamp, for example, here, whatever. You know, you just look how it looks. And the same, of course, you can uh, uh, transfer here, you know, lamp here, for example, and another is there. Maybe there is some watch or something under the, you know, um, elevator, whatever. So with the details you play after, but essential is uh, that first you establish, of course, the 
the form, you know, what does the end of the color look like, either it's vertical or horizontal or whatever, square, whatever is the case, you know, and then horizontal line and then the position where you look at the corridor and this would give you the vanishing point. So in such case, if we go here, let's say horizontal line, you sitting like kind of a bit on the left and you're looking straight on this space somewhere here, so you know this is your vanishing point. So you just go through the corridor, uh, corners, sorry, of this, of this rect rectangle and you have right away, you know, here, the sides of the corridor, okay? And here's the ceiling and everything, so, and the floor. So um, just uh, practice this kind of you know exercises in the same in the same way. And just choose any space. It could be you know um, uh, even paysage. You know if you're in the paysage, you have horizontal line. You establish where you are, and then you know the best uh, place is to establish where you are, how you look at the paysage, and of course do the same do, to this, do the same you know um, uh, things that you spread the uh, even if there's buildings or something you just spread the lines and you go through, you know, the buildings, whatever, you go, you build uh, sidewalks, whatever is there. So it's the same principle, first establish horizontal line and how you look according to this, to the either the interior space, exterior spaces, how you situate it in, uh, against the space you look at. So good luck with your practice and um, uh, thank you very much and see you soon, bye.